Science never lies. Researchers are able to set up experiments to see how certain variables affect the other. This is very important for dermatology because we're able to see how effective certain products and certain ingredients are. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down studies online to create the perfect science-based skincare routine. Before we actually create the skincare routine, we have to first define what a perfect skincare routine is. We must consider consistency, side effects, longevity, efficiency, and cost. Consistency is quite simple. We don't want to be switching up and using different products for different days. This is just going to add extra complexity to our skincare routine. Because of this, we want to make sure that our skincare routine every single day is essentially the same. When it comes to longevity, we want to make sure that the skincare lasts for a very long time. If we have a skincare routine with a lot of longevity, we can essentially use the same skincare routine for years and years. We also want efficiency. For our case, let's say you have severe acne. And so a very efficient skincare routine will be a skincare routine that gets rid of the acne as quick as possible. Along with this, we also want to minimize the amount of products that we're using in our skincare routine. Because of this, we're minimizing the cost of the skincare routine. So we're going to be trying to use as few products as possible. And most importantly, we want to make sure that we're minimizing any side effects. For this reason, isotretinoin, otherwise known as Accutane, is not going to be used in this skincare routine due to all the side effects that it does have. Now before I bring up any studies, the situation for this video is that you're someone that has very severe acne and we're trying to get rid of the acne as quick as possible. Now one of the first things that people buy for a skincare routine is a facial cleanser. And this is for good reason. Science has shown that cleansing is an important part of a skincare routine when it comes to getting rid of acne. However, the one issue of cleansing is that cleansing itself will not get rid of the acne. And so because of this, we're going to be mentioning other things in this video that will help with your acne. When it comes to the specific cleanser that we're going to use, we need to ensure that it is gentle. We don't want it to damage the skin barrier. This could result in sebum overproduction, and so as a result, you're going to start breaking out because your skin is so dry. We just want something that can do some deep pore cleansing while making sure that the skin barrier is not damaged. There are three products that you could potentially choose that follows this criteria. The first one is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Another one is the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Cleanser, and the third one is the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. All of these are going to be very gentle to the skin and that's all we really need, something that can get into the pores and clean them out without damaging the skin barrier. Just keep in mind that the La Roche-Posay Cleanser is quite expensive so you can opt for something like CeraVe or Cetaphil. You don't have to use products from these specific brands, however I would say that they are quite reliable. When it comes to the actual acne treatment, like I said before, we're not going to be using isotretinoin or Accutane because there are many side effects that come with using that. We're also not going to be using any antibiotics, and the reason why we're not going to be using antibiotics is that although it might help with acne temporarily, after you stop using them, the acne can come right back so it's not going to be solving the solution for the long term. It's more so a temporary solution, and if you continue using the antibiotics, bacteria can actually become resistant to it, and so as a result, over time, the treatment won't work. And so for our acne treatment, we're going to be using a retinoid. Now, the type of retinoid you use is up to you. It can be tretinoin, adapalene, it might even be something like epiduo. Essentially, what retinoids do is they increase the skin cell turnover rate. So they're basically going to increase the rate at which your skin cells are shedded. And so as a result, you're going to be able to peel the layers of your dead skin and remove those impurities. And so because of this, you're going to prevent acne. Something I like about retinoids is their longevity. You can continue using them throughout your life. For example, although you might get rid of your acne, you might want to continue using your retinoids because of their anti-aging properties. Not only do they get rid of things like hyperpigmentation and can also help with acne scars, but they can also help with fine lines and wrinkles. And so you're going to feel much more youthful and you can continue using this throughout your life. For this reason, I think that retinoids are the safest option when it comes to acne when compared to things like antibiotics and also isotretinoin or Accutane. Now, one of the biggest issues when it comes to using a retinoid is the dryness. They can be very drying to your skin when you first start using this. For this reason, we need to get a good moisturizer. If you have acne, the best moisturizer to use must have ceramides in it. These are going to help strengthen and moisturize your skin barrier. So although you might deal with issues when it comes to tretinoin, different, or any type of retinoid due to the drying effects that it has, as long as you're able to replenish and moisturize your skin barrier using one of these moisturizers, you should be fine. For the moisturizer you use, it can be anything like CeraVe or La Roche-Posay. Just make sure that it has ceramides in it. There's just so many moisturizers out there, I don't want to select a specific one. Now once you get rid of your acne, there still may be dark spots and hyperpigmentation left behind. And you don't want these dark spots to get any darker because you want that evenness in your skin tone. For this reason, we have to introduce 
a sunscreen. The most optimal sunscreens must have at least SPF 30 or above. Sunscreens are not only important when it comes to preventing hyperpigmentation and dark spots from getting worse, but also when it comes to your overall health. You want to make sure that you're minimizing the chance that you get any type of skin cancer. Now sunscreens are very important and although you might use it every single day, it's still possible to get skin cancer. And for this reason, you want to make sure that you're wearing protective clothing, hats, anything like that because you want to minimize the exposure that you have to the sun. Also, you want to make sure that if you're very active, maybe you're going for a run or maybe you're getting exposed to water, you want to reapply the sunscreen every few hours. Now, if all you're doing is going to school, going to class, going to work, you don't really need to worry about reapplying your sunscreen because you're not going to be outside for very long. There are many sunscreens out there that have at least 30 SPF. You can find some from the Korean market. You can get one from CeraVe. La Roche-Posay, Cetaphil, it's all up to you. Just make sure that it has at least SPF 30. I hope that you implement all these products into your skincare routine if you do have quite bad acne. And honestly, you can continue using the skincare routine for many years to come because of the longevity that it has. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. DM me on Instagram, and peace.